uh new releases yeah yeah i've been playing uh on on uh the uh game pass i've been playing infernax is that Inf- i, I tried i tried that i like that's a lot the, that's the 8-bit game right uh it's more like a 32-bit game that's trying to look like an 8-bit game yeah, but probably yeah. better than a 32 it's it's castlevania i couldn't get into it but i'm glad you like it uh you you might not be good at it i don't know mm. is that is that what it is that's that's what it is <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah no, uh, no, no, no! I know why I don't like it. Right? I, I, it I don't recall I would, saying this game is bad. There's a no, difference. No. I it, said I don't like it. That's two different things. Right. It, it's more up my alley. Like it, mm-hmm. it's a pattern-based recognition, old, old retro type of game. That's, uh, I mean, it's, it's Castlevania, right? They, they the made music? a Castlevania game. Good. It 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 seems a lot like Castlevania and like it it does like the shifts when you're going into like boss battles to where it's got kind of that eight bit sixteen bit orchestral type of music that you would expect out of something like this. Nice. Um so and, and it's got the same thing like where you get hit and you you have that helpless like jump backwards type of thing when you ever you get hit. It's got all this all the Castlevania stuff. They still all the good um, stuff. Yeah, they still all the good stuff. Um there's plenty of like saves spaces. There's a, I don't know what the, uh, it's like the classic mode and the casual mode. There's two different modes. Uh, I've been playing on classic mode because I, I have not found it overly difficult or frustrating, but you can switch down to casual mode. And I think, I think what that does is it's, it doesn't take away all of your money and experience that you earn between saves. Well, I'm back casual mode. Oh, I tried it in casual mode. It just wasn't for me. Oh, not everything is for everybody. But that yeah, sure. mean, like I said, that doesn't mean it's bad. It, I like it because it has a good progression to it so far. Like, I feel like it's easy enough to upgrade your characters. You're going around, you get new magic spells. I'm, I'm through. I, I'm on the second castle. So I've beat two bosses so far. Nice. So, yeah, I, I like that. Infernax. Is, yeah, is I checked it out. Name. I decided that it might not be for me. I mean, I looked at pictures and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it probably is not for you either. It, I mean, I like Symphony of the a, Night. I remember that I have good memories of that, but maybe not today. Maybe not in 2022. Yeah. It, Did it's... you get the uh, $110 version of Dynasty Warriors 9? <laughs> I got three of them, just in case. I just I wanted to make sure that you got that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm all about that. That got Lulu in it? <laughs> um, he's, uh, he's i gl- can't even remember the last time i played a dynasty warriors game have they changed it all not really well, this is an empire's one so that signifies something it's bigger <laughs> no, han solo's remember. in it what does that mean um <laughs> i i don't i'm sure it's i'm sure it's a great great sure it's a quality uh, game dynasty warriors game <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a game. Are they really of- like nine seems impossible? Like they have to be like in the twenties by now, right? I think it's because, you, as you specified, there's Dynasty Warriors and Dynasty Warriors Empires. No, no, they're counting backwards. <laughs> what? <laughs> From 100. What's the end game here? <laughs> they go negative. You know these wacky Japanese titles. They throw some German in there, some negative numbers. Why not? Because there, because there was a Dynasty Warriors nine that came out in 2018. Oh, that's only four years ago. This is Dynasty Warriors Nine Empires. Right. So it has battlefield strategy. We'll never know. And and political intrigue. And Lubu. Lubu has a special outfit. And and Lubu. There's a there's a game on Nintendo Switch called Blackberry Honey that's coming out this week. Sounds I, delicious. I want you guys to check that out. And report back. Uh, I'm still working on watermelon sugar. Right. Yep. Or Derpy Conga is another game. These all sound like Switch game or not, but I didn't do anything to this list at all. Nope. Well, um, there's, there's four different Kingdom Hearts game coming out for the Switch this week. <laughs> Intergrum is a word you could use. Oh, you know what game I tried? Game. I'll, I'll, I'll include it here because because it's on Game Pass. Mm. I did play a little of Paparazzi. Did you try that yet, Chip? I feel like... No, I saw it, but I, I have not tried it. 
you uh are i mean you're you're not actually a person i think you're like a robot but your job is to take photographs of dogs in a world that's pretty much populated by nothing but dogs and you have to take special pictures of each dog and that's the whole game and you unlock different lenses like fisheye lenses and you could pet all the different dogs and you know it's like little areas similar Think like Tony Hawk style challenges, but not Tony Hawk game. Like, mm. uh, take a picture inside the arcade. Take a picture, clean out the skate rink, then take a picture of the dogs on the skate rink. I'm sorry. So, yeah, and there's like a little checklist of the five things you need to do in each area. I, I see. Then, sorry, I got distracted because I see there's a new Atari Recharge game. Yeah, this there's week. Atari Breakout. Which Breakout I Recharge. At. Is it good? I, I didn't play it. I, but I, I feel I, like I, I need to play that. I, I'm always hesitant to play breakout games without more of an Arkanoid guy. I need a knob or a ball to really enjoy it. Yeah, that's what that's what I've heard. Uh-huh. Uh, I need, knob I and need, balls. I need, I need balls. Look, yeah. I either need the I need the knob. Right. Uh, how big of a the, knob are we talking here? Or the, uh, what do you need? the I need the ball. It's gross. Uh-huh. Then, uh, then I need the knob. Right. It's only knob ten dollars. That's not ball. a lot. That seems cheap for a game that's recharged. Knob ball. That's the right price for a recharged game. Mm-hmm. They all charge. They all. They're all ten dollars. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. I thought they're trying to slip in a cheap one here. No, no. I think they're all ten dollars. I mean, you can get through those games and get all the achievements in like a couple hours. Right. But it's an it's an enjoyable couple of hours usually. Right. We just haven't played this one. I would I would like to hear Shipwreck's point of view on if you tell me it's worth my ten dollars, I will get it. Breakout's a good game. I know, I do they, like a good they breakout. They did a good job with Breakout when they came up with that. Should they have done Breakout or should they have done Kaboom? Oh no, that's Activision, right? Yeah, that's it looks that's cool. I'm I'm looking at a video of it. It looks pretty Activision. cool. I mean that that seems like one they couldn't screw up too bad, right? Right. You just put some trails in and uh, some techno music. And it's they got co-op in there too, perfect. Mm-hmm. All the recharge games have co-op. Oh, how come they don't send me the codes for this? It's only ten dollars, and it's cost them nothing anyway. Even if they were, <laughs> it was a hundred dollars. They don't even it's write me favorite. back. They send me. They usually send me like telling me about it. And say hey, request the code, and then I request the code, and <laughs> it's like, come on, it's fucking pong. <laughs> um, what else in new releases? Uh, Ziggurat two. I didn't realize that was out. Ziggurat 2 is out. Thank you for letting me know on that. No I don't even remember what that is. Um, that was the like the pier- the game that had the pyramid, right? Pretty oh. sure. No, I wasn't into that. I don't like pyramids. You don't like pyramids? No. Reminds me of uh, the, my people being slaves in Egypt. <laughs> so long ago. <laughs> that, that, in the hot that. desert. Carrying those mm-hmm. those huge stones. I remember those times. Those were tough times. You were like, "Let my people go." And Let was my like, people go. I was like, "No," and you're like, "I'm gonna drop frogs on you." And he was like, "I don't give a crap." It and was so like, hot. I'm gonna do it. Frogs. It was so and hot. The next day, there were frogs everywhere. Yep. And then he was like, "Still not letting everyone go." And you're like, "Fine." Boils it is. Yep. Everyone's getting boils. That's why I look like this. Mm-hmm. All right. Anything? Are we still on new releases? I think we're good. Mm-hmm. What about the Cyberpunk uh, next gen upgrade? Does that count as a new release? Because I played we'll some of that. It. We'll count it. I want. I would like to know how a how far along you got, and b what, how your experience has been. Because I booted it up. Right. And it's I like did the update. It's this is like uh, Murderville to shipwreck for me. Like I just keep falling asleep during the cutscenes. Oh yeah, no the the first like I think I got like seven hours in, and I want to say it's like the first four hours or so. They don't let you do anything. Nothing. Nothing. They they like, you know the part where you get into this guy's limo. He it's like right. It's got to be in the first mm-hmm. hour and a half. Uh, you get into this guy's this guy's limo and he starts talking to you and talking to you. And I went to the gym this morning and I was I guess I was I, I worked hard. And the guy's talking to me and literally I wake up and the guy's saying hello, hello, because you know when you let the dialogue options 
uh, expire, they prompt you. I literally fell asleep and the game is yelling at me. It's like your nightmare, right? Like, it's like, no, I just turned it off. Went, <laughs> took a nap. How did it look? It looks good. So it's got the two graphic modes, uh, at, you know, the ray tracing mode, which is 30 frames per second, and the performance mode, which is 60. But like the hand, the, like the gunplay, it doesn't feel like Call of Duty or Apex Legends. It feels very like no, someone who like hasn't a, like an RPG version of shooting. Yeah, which sucks. Like it doesn't feel good. And I don't know if it's like feels any better at the 60 frames per second, but I did turn off the the blur, the motion blur. That helped. That was ridiculous. Like you can't even fucking turn. It's just like <laughs> but the game at, at times looks very pretty, but Maybe I was expecting it to look a little better. I don't know. Like it wasn't, I don't know. I, I like the cars. The cars look good. I'm into that. Like, do you, do, do you get a lot of car customization going in the future? I, I don't know. I know there's a lot of cars you could like get. Buy or get. Yeah, you could buy a lot of cars. You didn't play a lot I, of this? I played like seven hours. Oh, that's not a lot. And then I, uh, I booted, like I said, I booted it up and I went to go do like, it said to go here to start the next like real mission. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go start the next mission. And the one's like, you need 15,000 credits. I'm like, but I only have 7,000. Right. I remember. Like, well, then <laughs> come back when you have 15,000 credits. And I'm like, oh, I guess I'm going to do side missions then. So, yeah. um, so the guy's like, Hey, just drive here, get the thing and then bring it back. So I go to the, the, the spot, which is all the way on the other side of the map, of course. And I get there and that's it, it. It was like, and yeah, then there's like other guys I had to shoot and it looks fine. I, I, I think it looks a lot better actually. Are you try? do you try the ray tracing mode? Yeah, or the... I tried the ray tracing mode. Yeah. I wanted to see, you know, I don't need 60 frames per second. I can barely see it 10 frames per second normally. So, you know, why not try? It, uh, it looks a lot more cinematic with the 30 frames and the ray tracing yeah i like that i like this you know some nice reflections in the rain and that kind of cool stuff it didn't look bad before on i mean i put it on what xbox one yeah, x right yeah or mm -hmm. series x whatever this thing is over there yeah um i didn't have problems with it before it was mainly the game just felt janky to no i'm fine with jank <laughs> i like jank um, During the tutorial for this, when I play this, uh, the guy, there's some guy get, telling you how to fucking shoot a gun or whatever. He T posed for me for like one second. He just T posed. I was like, perfect. what the fuck is going on? I was like, oh yeah, I remember. It's, this game's got yeah, that's, that's <laughs> unintentional great. T posing. I like, I like to be reminded I'm playing a video game. That's part of the fun. Um, but there was ray tracing. There was ray tracing in that T pose. Yeah. I think I just had a. I don't know the the world itself, like maneuvering around the world, seemed overly cumbersome. Like to get from place to place and okay. kind of like figure out where you were going. Like once you got to some place and you shot the people and you had the story stuff, it was fine. It was just like I don't know that I needed this world to explore because yeah, the world I'm not the world, enjoying and yeah. exploring no, the world. I so. think the game also would have benefited from a more streamlined experience. Hmm. Well, yeah. I'm not giving up yet. No, don't give no. up. I hope you enjoy it. I I think there's a quality game in there. It's just it maybe they it was fix asking some a little bit too much of me. I will also try to play more. I have no work next week. I'm off. I took the the week off. Nice. So yeah, full week off. The kids have no school, and we're like gonna be doing stuff with the kids, but we're not going away. So a staycation, I think that's what that's called. Right. So hopefully I'll get some cyberpunk time in there. Like they picked a good week, I guess, for them to do this big upgrade. Because I'll play that next week. Yeah, yeah I was that's excited. Why they picked it. I'm sure that's yeah. why they picked it. They're like, oh, I, yeah, you know, winter break. We got to right. get this upgrade out. So uh, Dallow in the chat is pointing out my that I should tell the my tale of of download shame. How I was complaining in the Cagcast Discord about why my download was tapping out at 100 megabits. This is like a like a real wombat move that you pulled. It's pretty bad. I didn't realize <laughs> that I was using like some shitty fucking cable to connect my Xbox to 
I have like wall jacks here for ethernet and it was, they topped out at a hundred and I'm paying for a gig gigabit. So the discord was laughing at me because I'm <laughs> stupid, but it works not great now. Now I can That's download awesome. it like 500. Cool. Cause that was like a 60 gigabyte download there for that upgrade.